Hello, hello, welcome to a new lesson and we are about to finish the uh, guide process note. Uh, remember that this whole series has been sponsored by Patreon, so thank them and if you like, subscribe, share or just say thanks. Uh, now we just saw the wave, let me just turn off my groom and let me turn back to a more human number, maybe 15 for now on. You can see that the change is not that big. Uh, I was just a little bit over the top, putting 40, but remember that the amount of you put is going to be really, really important when you use it. Our rendering is performance wise, is really high. So just be aware, use normal numbers. Eight is a good number, or you can even be lower to four on really, really high or dense grooms. Uh, now we have the straighten. This is just a really, really basic one. If you have any kind of uh, let me add another guide process here. Let's add a nay, a bend, something there, and then we have a straighten. You can see that we can have a bend here, and then if we put a straighten, it's just going to straight out the curves. So that's basically what it does, tangent and normal uh, straighten from whatever you put on top. And that's basically that one. Uh, has two basic steps and you can add it there. I'm going to mix this with the smooth because it has quite the similar kind of connotation. So let me add a basic guide process. Maybe it could be a length. So let me just add a length that has a multiply and we will randomize this. So this is the result that we have there. And then we come to the smooth value and you can see that we have a search radius here and the amount of radius that we search is going to define how much or the area that is going to smooth between and the amount of neighbors is going to define the amount of curves that is going to look on that area. So you can see here, that's basically how it works. And we have also skin space. We have object space and a skin space. You can see it there. Let me just reduce this to a number of three. The mean interpolation will be three neighbors. And you can see how it smooths out the result by averaging the level. So if you have one, two, three, and you have the setting on three, it's going to average this out as much as it can. So it doesn't have like this super strength curve. It creates a more normal kind of variation between them. So it's a more even distribution. If you have more steps, the search radius is just going to rate to search in a radius and the number of neighbors that are going to be uh, compiled to normalize and smooth under that radius. So that's basically the smooth and the straighten. I hope you like it. Those are fairly simple notes, but they can come in really handy. So thank you so much and see you on the next lesson.